Greetings, family. You know, whatever is being done in darkness will always come to light. That is one thing. And last year, we saw the Niger people, the Nigerians, being led by one and only Abdurrahman Tiani getting tired of a puppet, Mohammed Bazoum. And they said, enough is enough. We are taking back our country. And immediately they said that we saw the puppet organization called Ecomas or Lesidiao coming together and said we are going to invade, led by the the CIA the asset. master himself. <laughs> <laughs> and they were well prepared actually. They they even were reading their military. We remember even the there were some leaders, uh, regional leaders in Nigeria saying no, we are not going to allow you Tinubu to invade our brothers in Niger. Mm. But we saw Algeria saying try. We saw the AES countries of Mali and Burkina saying try. Mm. And if you touch Niger, you have touched us. And another country who, who it was Guinea. Though Guinea later became like this country we don't even understand. But that moment where if you were to ask Tinubu or to ask the French, mm -hmm. Manu Maku, you, what are you planning? He would have said, no, we are not in it, we are out. We don't want to be part of it. It's ECOWAS. Mm -hmm. We are supporting ECOWAS. But crazy, crazy revelations have come out in which some new evidence of interference in which 2,000 soldiers were ready to invade Niger. And this is being said by a French, Jean-Marie Bocquer. Euh, quand il y a eu la crise de Niger, on a été euh, capable euh, d'installer de, de, euh, à Abidjan euh, 2000 hommes en, en quelques heures. Vous voyez Donc euh, je pense que un des, comment des aspects importants de la mission, c'est d'avoir réussi quand même vis-à-vis -vis des partenaires à faire passer ce message, y compris d'ailleurs au niveau de... Euh... During his hearing before the National Assembly Defense Committee, Jean-Marie Bocquel, who is the former Secretary for State Cooperation, revealed that Pahi had considered military intervention in Niger after the coup. Indeed, 2,000 French soldiers had been urgently deployed to Abidjan in preparation for an operation in Niamey. These revelations highlight France's aggressive policy in Africa and its disregard for state sovereignty. This is shocking because the same Cote d'Ivoire, Alassane Ouattara, the big puppet, is the one that is disturbing Burkina, mm. is the one that is disturbing Mali. And they still the one, imagine they, are, they don't even border with Niger. Niger only borders with Nigeria and Benin. But this guy had 2,000 soldiers in Cote d'Ivoire waiting for, you know, the thing would have been, we are waiting for Equus to invade. And immediately course invades, these guys will join along. Yeah. So it will be like it's e course, mm -hmm. but people will be seeing white people in. in oh, field. maybe, you know, France, even the football team for France is black people. You know, they might be saying it's a French army, but it's our own people fighting for the French. But I remember there was a time the, there was a ship that docked in Benin, mm -hmm. and it was some French warship. Mm -hmm. So you see, it's being revealed that. 2,000 French soldiers had already been deployed in Abidjan, on Divo, Côte d'Ivoire. Yeah. Wow. But kudos to the, the countries, Burkina Faso and Niger, and we also thank Algeria and Guinea for being there to support our brother, Blah Mantiani, and the CNSP, which is the council that leads Niger. Niger. Yeah. The good thing about these countries, well, mostly Burkina Faso, that guy talks. Ibrahim Traore talks about everything. He tells his people, this is what they are doing, this is what they are planning, this is what we know, this is the information that we've gathered. But for Niger, most of the information you will not get from him. I think his government is more into implementation than telling, you know, giving mm -hmm. reports each and every time. But what we have seen in Burkina Faso, just a similar thing in Burkina Faso, um, is that there's a guy who went to some television program and, you know, said that the, the allegations against France um, are baseless, you know. Mm -hmm. Burkina Faso's allegations against, you know, France are baseless. They don't even have evidence for what they are claiming these countries are doing to Burkina Faso. These other countries, you know, you, you got divorced and, yeah. you know, being used by France. So, and he was arrested in Burkina Faso for that, you know, because this is a serious issue. 
when people have information and have gathered from their sources and are very sure that this is factual, and then you come and tell the whole nation that this is this is false, yeah. this is just a president sitting there and being bored and telling his <laughs> people, you know, there's this that we are thinking, there's this that, that we, we think might be happening, being caused by France. So these are serious, serious, and now it's coming from their own person, a French guy, he's what, the chair of what? Uh, National what? He's a, he's a former secretary of state. You see? Yeah, this he's is a big guy. This is a big guy yeah. telling the fact as they... It's like the same thing that we've been saying. You know, nowadays, even if you're a puppet, no matter how beautiful you package yourself, it's just a matter of yeah. a few months and we all know who you so, are. So the guy who who was who was accusing Kina Faso of falsifying uh, destabilization mm -hmm. at attempt I think he's from Mali. He's Malian. And his name is Isakun Jim. Mm -hmm. And the Malian justice has decided to place him in custody. And uh, his, uh, he will be tried on February 12, 2025. Oh. <laughs> this decision follows a complaint filed by a Burkina Bay Association. What this guy had accused Burkina Faso was uh, of this falsifying destabilization mm -hmm. attempt. You know, Burkina Faso has been that going multiple coup uh, attacks, like trials of coup, mm. and they keep following these life attacks. Is not a, you yeah, know, it's not safe. But these guys now come to say you you are They're you are lying. falsifying this to be seem like you have many coups. Mashallah. Anyways, guys, I think he has gotten what he deserves. Yeah, he's in 2025, prison right now. Imagine Christmas, Valentine. He will be. <laughs> He will be inside. If he celebrates those, he's going to be suffering yeah, yeah, inside. Yeah. He will be inside. Yeah. So, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section. If you'd like to support us, we are still selling the Sahel hats. We have a link to our online shop, just like Amazon, you know, or any other online shop. You you find this hats dialect, but you can just click to home address. You can find a lot of other things, African bags, African sandals. We have a, a link in the description that takes you direct to our online market that is elegantmasai.com and also if you'd like to buy us coffee we have buy me a coffee link in the description also super chat super thanks and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't share and like this video and we'll see you on our next video